Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. People of God, we are alive today because he kept us. Amen. Because the Lord kept us. Look at this wonderful testimony of the marriage. Look what this family has gone through. You know, I keep telling every one of us, there is no way your belief cannot be contested. There is no way your love for Christ cannot be contested. There is no way your faith cannot be contested. But hold on to faith. Hold on to Christ. Hold on to him and it shall come to pass. The day of testimony. Just like today. Just like today. The brother said, look at my past photo. I am always at the gate. Look at my past photo. I know why I'm at the gate. Hallelujah. Look at my past photo. I am at the gate. You know what that means? He said, look at your photo when you come to Shekinah. Many have forgotten. Many have forgotten. Even many that came. Oh, man of God, bless me with a child. They are blessed with a the child. They take the child away now, out of the kingdom of God. Only them know where they go. Tomorrow, if that child becomes something else, they run, oh, man of God, oh, God, help me. Oh, God, help me. Praise the Lord. Some were blessed with wealth. Some were blessed with a lot of things in the kingdom of God. And they left the kingdom to somewhere else. Praise the Lord. But today, my God, I've forgiven them and I've remembered them in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, my God has forgiven you. Even you that confess today and tomorrow, change your confession. Confess yesterday and today, change your confession. We are all forgiven in the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People of God, it is well with you. It is well with your career. It is well with your future. It is well with your destiny. But I want you to once again, you listen to this testimony of this marriage. They went through things. They went through. They passed through tests. They were highly tested. You can imagine the family separated and went and built another family. Prayer was too mad. The girl said, I'm tired. The man said, I'm tired. Even the children, you know. But one thing I hold on to, Father, you never disappoint. And I want to tell you today, standing before Jehovah God and his Christ, you will never be disappointed. Can I get a member to that? Amen. You will never dis be disappointed. Can I get a member to that? Amen. Touch yourself. Say, I will never be disappointed. Imagine what they went through. Imagine what the brother went through. Imagine what the sister went through. And even at the time of the marriage, at the time of the wedding, there was no money. Those that are owing them refused to pay. Oh, prophet, help me. They couldn't even call me. That brother could not call me. It was mama who picked up the phone and said, oh, what do we do, man of God? What do we do? This family, this is what they are going to. I said, let me call them right now, right here. The God of right now, right here, will release the money. Hallelujah. The God of right here, right now, will release the money. And the wedding will be conducted. And that's what comes to pass. Look at the rat they find in their house. A black and white. You know what that means? And not only that. Not only that. They begin to project all manner of things into their life, into their home, projecting, projecting. But I want to tell you something today. Any man or woman, any living or dead that is projecting anything into your life, today I terminate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I destroy every demonic projection. So I want to hold on to this. I want you to hold on to this. Say, Lord, while you are still standing, I want everyone to stand up. I want everyone to stand up, please. Stand up. Don't sit down. Say, Lord, Lord. I stand in your name. I stand in, I stand in your word. I stand in word. And I declare... Say, Lord, I stand in your name. Lord, I stand in your name. Lord, I stand in your word. Lord, I 
stand on your word. And I claim all that is mine. And I claim all that is mine. I destroy. I destroy. Every power. Every power. Every living. Every living. Every death. Every death. Every and every power. Every power. Every power. Every power. Every spirit. Every spirit. Projecting anything into my house. Projecting anything into my house. Into my business. Into my business. Into my finances. Into my finances. Into my marriage. Into my marriage. Lord, I stand in your name and your word. Lord, I stand in your name and your word. I destroy them right now, right here. I destroy them right now, right here. And I claim all that is mine. And I claim all that is mine. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say, Father, Father, I will never change my confession again. I will never change my confession again. I will never limit myself again. I will never limit myself again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, right now, right here. Right now, right here. I am free. I am free. From every demonic entanglement. From every demonic entanglement. I am free. I am free from every demonic operations. From every demonic operation. I am free. I am free from every bonds of wickedness. From every bond of wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say so right now, right here. Right now, right here. I claim freedom. I claim freedom. Every day. Every day. In every way, every way of my life, of my life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Put your hand together. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to go to three people. Don't make mistake. Three people. Walk to three people and announce to them, say that thing they projected into your life is dead. You will see it physical. Go to three people, announce to three people, say, brother, that thing they are projecting into your life is dead. That thing they are projecting into your house is dead. You will see it physical in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and say that. Including anyone that is projecting them. Including any power that is projecting them. Three people, three people, three people, three people. Only three. Only three. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. Now rejoice and give him praise. Rejoice and give him praise. Rejoice, 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 for it is done. Hallelujah. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, you are free. You are free. Your children are free. Career free, marriage free, finances free. Business free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen, before we sit down, I want us to do another spiritual exercise. You are free. Remember Psalm 32, verse 8 say, And I will instruct you and teach you in the way which thou shalt go, and I will guide you with my eyes. That is why you need a prophet in your life. I will guide you with my eyes. I will guide you. Now listen, they have made you who you are not. Just like that, made that brother who, is, who he, he was not. And God transformed him. I want you to clean your face three times. Listen, don't start, don't start. Don't clean yet. Hear the instruction. You're going to clean your face three times. You do this, look at me, in the name of the Father, you clean your hand. In the name of the Son, you clean your hand. In the name of the Holy Spirit, you clean your hand. If you hear me, wave your hand. If you hear me, wave your hand. If you hear me, wave your hand. Okay, listen. When you do that, when you do that, the moment you do that, you say, I have 
moved away from what they made me to my original what God made me and what God want me to be. Do you hear that? I have moved, I have cleansed what the enemy made me to be. And now I am what God made me to be and what God want me to be. Say Christ in me, the hope of my glory. I have, moved, I have cleansed what the enemy made me to be. I am now what God want me to be and made me to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now go ahead and do that. Three times. In the name of the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Yes. Watch them. Watch them. Watch whom the enemy have turned to a monster. Watch whom the enemy have turned to a lion. Watch them now. Watch them now. Whatever they made you to be, you have moved on what they made you to be, to what God wants you to be. They made you to be a monster, to be something else. Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. They made them to be what they are not. What you are not. What you are not. What you are not. What you are not. A different thing is living inside of you. A different being is living there. You think it's a human being. Watch it. Watch it. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them now. Watch them now from A to Z. Watch them. 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 You see? They turned them to a monster. They turned them to a snake. But God want them to be real. To be his own children. Thank you, Lord. 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 Everybody Thank you, Lord. Why? 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They turned them to be monsters. They turned them to be monsters. They changed them from person to animals. No, it's not you. It's not you. It's no longer you. You will be what God wants you to be. Begin to declare, I am what God wants me to be. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am now what God wants me to be. I am now what I'm made to be in the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ, continue, 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 continue in the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Continue, 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 continue. Continue, 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 continue. In the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. We pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Listen again, listen again, listen again. Listen. Remember, we have fasted for 40 days. And we have fasted again for three days and three nights. Three days and three nights. Hear me. You are going to change your seats. You are going to change your seats. Hallelujah. Just continue to watch what is going on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now I want you to go to three people. I mean, I want you to move. Take your bag. Everyone take your bag. Take a, don't move anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Just carry your bag in your hand. Carry your bag. Carry your Bible. Carry your bag. Carry your Bible. Listen, if there is any seat the enemy has given to you and you have been sitting on that seat, as a result of that seat, you have, been suffer, you have suffered humiliation, name-calling, financial problems, 
spiritual attack, you have to say, Lord, I have been sitting long time in this seat of the enemies. Today, I change my position. Spiritually, listen to me. Everything about you will change. I tell you, some of you will hear news that somebody passed on. So after today, some of you will hear news. Some of you will get to your house and you find, some, you find a strange thing. Make sure you come on Sunday to give testimony. Some of you will look at this will change. I am telling you, this will change. This will change. We cannot do three days dry, die with Christ and resurrect with Christ and remain the same. We cannot carry out the 40 days, crying unto God for 40 days, and our life not change. No. No. I said no. Listen, you are going to move from that seat to another seat. He said, right now I am sitting on my seat, I've changed, I've moved from where enemy want me. As I take this step, you remember in Genesis, the Bible says, and God moved. Hallelujah. And, and God moved. And, and God moved. Listen, right now you're going to move. Right now, you're going, you're going to move. Don't mind them, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. They are put in one position. You see millions coming to you, but you cannot see the physical million. Every time when you dream, you see millions of dollars, you see millions of rounds, you see millions of different currencies. You see money, you see your new house, you see your new car, you see your child, but physically you don't see them. It means something is happening somewhere. It means something is happening somewhere. Today I want to change you. The host of heaven want to change you from what they made you to be. That even when you go to office, they don't recognize you. Either they, when they hear your voice, they say you are smelling. Either when you enter, they say, look at this witch I've entered. Even when they see you, they speak evil of you to people. They tell people that you're a witch. They tell people never to talk to you. They tell people never to recognize you. They make people to hate you for no reason. It means that power somewhere. It means there's something going on somewhere. People of God, today, you will see the reality of who you are in Christ. I am telling you, wherever you are, wherever you are, I don't want you to get distracted. They cannot run. I want the gate to be closed because something is going to happen. I want the gate to be closed. Hallelujah. I pledge the angels at the gates. They are not moving. They have been arrested today in the name of Jesus Christ. They have been arrested today. They have been arrested today. All of them. All of them. We cannot finish these 40 days and your life not change. You cannot finish three days dry and your life not change. It's impossible. It's impossible. I guarantee you it's impossible. They have told you to be a monster. You're a true child of God, but they make you to be a monster. You see their face. And because you see their face, now they enter and assume your body. They will never assume your body again. They will never possess you again. They will, you will never sit on their table to eat their food. You will sit in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, the table of God and you eat with God. Because God is in you. Christ is in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Holy Father. Holy Father. I stand in your name and your word. I stand in, in your name and your word. I've carried my word. I am holding in my hand thy power and thy word. As I change my seat right now, right here, everything that belongs to me, every wrong seat I've been sitting, any wrong position I've been occupying, I am moving to my right house. I am moving to my right seat. I am possessing my finances. I am possessing my marriage. I am possessing my health. I am possessing my children. I am possessing all that is mine. I will never sit at the wrong seat. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now you move. Take your back, take your back, take your back. You change your seat. Just change your seat. Change the seat where you are sitting. The Bible says Genesis and God move. Yes, now sit there. Sit there. Sit. Now you can sit. You can sit. Sit. Say, I'm sitting right now, right here. In my rightful position. In the name of 
Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 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 If there's any hot place you are sitting, my God is alive. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Thank you, Lord. Don't make them sit. Don't put them on the seat. Don't leave them. Leave them to manifest. Begin to occupy. Leave them. 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 Just close the gate. The gate is closed. The angels are there. Where are you going? Die! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I turn your leg. Yes. Die! Yes. Yes. Look at the leg. You cannot use her leg anymore. You cannot use her leg. That leg belongs to Christ. One, two, three. Die! Thank you, Lord. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. You're back on the floor. You're back on the floor. Don't let me count three. One. Two. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Don't touch her head. You that is holding her, touch her head. I empower you to touch her head. Touch her head. Touch her head. Touch her head. Make sure you touch that head. Touch that head. Touch that head. Just touch that head and leave the rest. Touch that head. Now leave her. Leave her. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Whatever power that is sitting on your head, whatever power that is sitting on your on your womb, whatever power that is sitting on your wedding, whatever that power that is sitting on your marriage. Whatever power that is sitting on your career has been unseated today. Right now, right here, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to see that I'm sitting on my rightful position right now. Right here. Right here, right now. Right now, right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, 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 go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Can I hear you say amen? Can I hear you say amen? Hallelujah. 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 Wherever you are sitting, just appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. Appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. Appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. Go ahead, continue to appreciate him. He's a great God. Continue to appreciate him. He's a wonderful person. He's that wonderful personality that dwells in you. Appreciate him right now, right here. Appreciate him right now, right here. I appreciate him right now, right here, in the name of Jesus Christ. I appreciate him, I appreciate him, I appreciate him, I appreciate him. I appreciate him, I appreciate him, I appreciate him, I appreciate him. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Congratulations, people of God. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. People of God, why you are sitting there, where is your prayer point? Get your prayer point, look at it. Look at your prayer point, people of God, look at your prayer point. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at your prayer point. Why you are sitting there, sit comfortable. All those people that came out, please note this. All those people that came out, pick all of them, pick all of them and go and give them seat at the mercy land. Close to the mercy land, put their seat there. One, two, three, four, keep all their seat there. Five, put all their seat there and let them sit at the mercy land. The mercy of God by the end of today. They will be what God want them to be. All those people that came out, those people that were vomiting, manifesting, please take them. And some of you, you know, 
who you are. You know what has happened to you during this uh, uh, exercise, during this spiritual exercise. So I want you also, if you know something moved, I want you before you leave the church, make sure you go to the messy land and pass through the messy land. Praise the Lord. You know yourself. You know, the Bible says, quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. When the spirit of God is moving, you want to vomit. You say, no, I cannot vomit. They will laugh at me. I cannot manifest. They will laugh at me. Who are you? Which means that that power that's sitting in you that is telling you something else. Why you are somebody else? Praise the Lord. Why you are somebody else? So, but my God have arrested that demon. My God have arrested that idol of your father's house. My God have arrested that spiritual husband, that spiritual wife, that ancestral power that have caged you. My God have arrested them. Right now, right here in the name of Jesus Christ. So look at that prayer point. This prayer point is based on our message on Thursday. How many of you listen to that message of, I mean, Friday night? How many of you listen to that message of Friday night? Just wave your hand and say, I listen to that message of Friday night. And those of you overseas that have not been getting the prayer point, please, I think you have to really send all your information so that we make sure we, 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 we dispatch the prayer point to you. It's very important. You print it out or you take it on your cell phones and look at it. So don't look at the prayer point. He said, number one, say, oh God of limitless. Limitless possibilities. Let every impossible in my life, my family, and my ministry become possible right now, right here, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know what that means? We serve God, a limitless God. God can never be limited by space or time. But most of us, we limit ourselves. Most of us limit ourselves through our utterances. And I thank God for the message you had before the offering was collected. I thank God for that message. He said in James 3, he said, our mouth, our tongue is the smallest part of the body and most destructive part of the body. Most destructive. You began to speak negative things, forgetting that life and death are in the power of your tongue. You forgot that. You begin to speak, I will die. Oh, I cannot make it. My husband is a winch. I am a winch. This one is this. This one is that. When you begin to speak those things, demon anchored on them to deal with you. They turn things around. You begin to speak to your children negatively. You begin to speak negatively. Every day, negative things. No. Stop it. Tell your neighbor, stop it. Look at your neighbor. Don't be afraid of your neighbor. Say, stop it. Look at yourself. Say, stop it. Yes. So those negative things that we speak against ourselves, environment, our children, our wives, our husband, are the reason why we're going through most of what we're going through. Praise the Lord. These are the reasons. But I know today, as you have changed your seat, you have cleaned your face, it is over. Can I hear you say amen to that? Can I hear you say amen to that? People of God, you know, we all cry every day, wealth, wealth, wealth. We all cry every day, wealth, wealth, wealth. Can someone open the Bible in first in Second Kings chapter 7? I want us to read it from 1 to the end. Just read it. 2 Kings chapter 7. This is a story that we all know about the man of God. This is a story that we all know about the man of God. Hallelujah. About the prophet of God. Go ahead and read it. Chapter 7 of the Second King. Then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow about this time, 
A seer of fine flour shall be sold for a shekel, and two seers yes. of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. So an Hold officer... it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. The man of God said, by this time tomorrow, I am standing on that way to say to you, by this time tomorrow, check the time. By this time tomorrow, I'm telling you, check your time. By this time tomorrow, you receive a miracle that will turn your life around because you have changed your seat. They place you where you don't belong. They place you where you don't belong. So something has happened in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit, I see a change in the atmosphere. I see a big change. Those documents you've been looking for, that they tied and hide, will be located. Those your money that they stole and hide it will be located. The one they took into the sea, the one they buried at the middle of the of the tree, the one they hung, the one they took and gave to snake to swallow, they will vomit them in the name of Jesus Christ. The demon they've been projecting to destroy you. They will, that person that is projecting will be destroyed right now, right here, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil word, every effigy, every image, they tied, have been losing. And therefore, whatever, I mean, whatever, I repeat, whatever they have turned you to be, you have moved out from what they told you to be, to what God wants you to be. Right now, right here, in the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing applies to your children. The same thing to apply to your husband that have turned to a monster. A man that will say, get up, let's go to God. Let's go to church. No longer let's go to church. It's not a different person. A woman that will call you every day, let's pray. She's not a different person. The child that loves you so much have now turned to a different person. If I'm speaking to you, say, I am free. Say, my son is free. My husband is free. My wife is free. My children are free. My finances are free. Right now, right here. And I am free. Right now, right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The man of God said, by this time tomorrow. Yeah, continue. So an officer on, who, on whose hand the king leaned, answered the man of God and said, look, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, could this thing be? Do you hear that? Can you imagine that? If the Lord will make windows from heaven, I know there are some of you that say, oh, this man is a talkative. You always talk like that. Uh, even if this will not happen, I tell you right now, that spirit that's speaking to you, I arrest that spirit in the name of blood of Jesus Christ. My word will come to pass. For the word of God says, once God has spoken, twice I heard that all power belongs to God. He said, the word I sent to you can never come back to me void. It shall accomplish whatever I send it to do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing on that same word, on that same rock of our Lord Jesus Christ to declare this. That this word is unchangeable. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, go ahead. And he said, in fact, you shall see it with your eyes, but you shall not eat of mm -hmm. it. Now there were four leprous yes. men at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, why are we sitting here until we die? If we say uh -huh. we will enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die uh -huh. there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, yes. come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall leave. If they kill us... Hang on there. Hang on there. Hang on there. You are going to repeat that verse. He said, let us move, that if we go back, we shall die because there is hunger in the city. And if we go forward, it is better for us because if the army arrests us, the army will not make us to die with hunger. The army will give us food to eat. Can you see the people God used? Some, uh, someone is sitting there right now, right here. God is going to use someone to turn your story around. God used these three lepers, people that are ostracized. They have been casted out of the city. They are no longer living because they chased out of the city because of their condition. I don't know where they have chased you to. I don't know where they have pushed you to. I don't know how long you've been suffering. I don't know how long you've been crying. 
But listen, you are going forward. Say, I'm going forward. I'm going the Bible says, and God moved. So you have moved. Allow God to fight the rest battle. Allow God to fight the rest battle in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, go ahead, continue. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, mm -hmm. we shall live. If they kill us, yes. we shall only die. And they rose mm -hmm. at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come what to time, the... What time, what time they rose? What time they rose? At twilight. Who, who knows what is the meaning of twilight? The meaning of twilight means before the sun rises. Before the sun rises, very early in the morning. This morning, God is locating you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning, anyone that says you will not smile, my God is at work. The wealth must come back to you. Riches and wealth shall be in your house. The glory of God shall be seen in you. Amen. Those who mock you are coming to celebrate you. Amen. Those who plan to bring you down right now, right here, they are down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You trample upon them. Just as that general who claimed that man who claimed to be a general. Yes, in the eyes of man is general, but in the eyes of God is nobody. God is not a respecter of any man. So don't claim any position. Don't oppress people. Don't oppress a servant of God because of who you are, because of your wealth, because of your size, because of your education, your educational background or family background. No. God remained God, he changed not. And remember, this God we are talking about is in you. It's in you. It's within you, and it's for you. Praise the Lord. Yes, go ahead, continue, because of time. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. For, uh -huh. the, Lord, for the Lord had caused the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of uh -huh. horses, the noise of a great army. So they say to one another, look, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Egyptians to attack us. Therefore, they arose and fled at twilight and left the camp intact. Their tents, their horses, and their donkeys, and they fled for their lives. And when the lepers uh -huh. came to the outskirts of the camp, they went into one tent and ate and drank and carried from it silver and gold and clothing, and went and hid them, and they came back and entered another tent and carried some from there also, and went and hid it. Then they said to one another, we are not doing right. This is a day, this day is a day of good news, and we remain silent. Hallelujah. Can I, can I, can I hear you say to, your, say to your neighbor, this is a day of good news? Say to yourself, this is my day of good news. You see, they were carrying, and they were carrying, and the God that pushed them forward, the God that moved with them, now remind them that even if they carry all the hope in there, how many, how long, how many are there? These are millions of things dumped. Wealth, riches, food, everything. Horses, even the vehicle to convert them to your house. Trucks to carry those wealth to your house, God has made them available. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I get them into that? Yes, continue. If we wait until morning light, some punishment will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, let us go and tell the king's household. So they went and called to the gatekeepers of the city and told them, saying, We went to the Syrian camp, and surprisingly, no one was there, not a human sound, only horses and donkeys tied and the tents intact. And the gatekeepers called out, and they told it to the king's household inside. So the king arose in the night and said to his servants, Let me now tell you what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we are hungry. Therefore, we have gone out of the camp to hide ourselves in the field, saying, When they come out of the city, we shall catch them alive and get into the city. And one of his servants answered and said, Please, let several men take five of the remaining horses which are left in the city. Look, they may, 
they may either become like all the multitude of Israel that are left in it, or indeed, I say, they may become like all the multitude of Israel left from those who are consumed. So let us send them and see. Therefore, they took chariots with horses, and the king sent them in the direction of the Syrian army, saying, Go and see. And they went after them to the Jordan, and indeed, all the road was full of garments and weapons, which the Syrians had thrown away in their haste. So the messenger returned and told the king, Then the people went out and plundered the tents and the Syrians. So a seer of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two seers of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. Now the king had appointed the officer on whose hand he leaned to have a charge of the gate, but the people trampled mm -hmm. him in the gate, and he died, just as the men of God had said. God spoke to the king. Can I hear you say, amen. amen? Just as the men of God have said, I have returned in the same name of the men of God, your prophet, to announce to you that by this time tomorrow, your story will change. Amen. Can I get a meme to that? Your story will change. Those that are attacking you, those that are taking your name here and there, those that are bearing one thing or another in your house, in your family, after today, <laughs> after today, something will happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those that have turned to monster, they're no longer a monster. When somebody who loved you before, when he look at you now, he will see the real you. Praise the Lord. Remember the brother that, had, that got married? There was a time, I tell you this, he didn't say that. There was a time he called me, he said, even his own son is not his child. He left the child and ran away. He said, that child is not his own. Can you imagine that? And if that child is there, you look at the nose, you look at the eyes, you look at the head, you look at the mouth, tell me who that child resembles. I called him. This child was a baby, no, an innocent child. But demon at work. I said to him, that child is yours. I know the time, the minute, the hour, the second that child enter. <laughs> he looked at me, I said, yes. I said, allow this child to grow. You were going to see the real you. And look at that child today. Is the replica of that man. The replica of that man. So Satan does a lot of, he changed his eyes. He could not see. He could not see. I don't know, maybe they have turned your eyes to be somebody else. But I want to tell you, they have turned, changed your face. But after today, they are real you have shown up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I get a name to that? Every time the wife will cry to me, I say, my daughter, go relax. My God is at work. Go relax. My God is at work. Just as I usually say to all of you, you see me smiling, I say, hey. <laughs> I smile. I laugh because I laugh at your situation. I laugh at your situation. I laugh at that power that I've turned to something else in your life and family. Praise the Lord. So people of God, you have had it. You have had it. So when you get back home, you go back to that second King chapter 7. You read it again and again, and you see the glory of God. Remember Proverbs chapter 13. Can you go to the book of Proverbs chapter 13? Proverbs chapter 13, go to verse number 22 that said, A good man liberty inheritance for his children. They don't want you to leave anything for your child. They don't want you to be anything. That's the plan of the enemy. But today, God have turned it around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear you say, my God have turned it around? Read that. Proverbs chapter number 13, in verse number 22. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Yes. But the work of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Thank you. So right now, you're going to eat the fruit of the Gentiles in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as the word of God declare, he said, wealth and riches are in where? In the house of God. Wealth and riches. You are going to enjoy it. But you must keep the prayer point of today and pray it always. Because that is my message. 
many of us limit ourselves. And as such, we suffer financially, we suffer materially, we suffer spiritually because of our wealth. We go ahead and limit ourselves. There must be wealth in your life. You must have more than abundant. You must have plenty. That is my message. I must have plenty. Can I hear you say, I must have plenty? I must have plenty. He said, a good man liveth an inheritance for his children and his children, children. So your generation today, I want to terminate them from poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. So if there's any way you limited yourself, my father never drive a car. How can I drive a car? My father never built an upstairs, a mansionette. How can I build a mansionette? My, my this, my, in my village, there's nobody that has built this. You are going to build it in the name of Jesus Christ. In my village, there's no one that has ever traveled. You are going to travel. This and that. No, you are like, you are not like your village people. If Christ was like his village people, where would he be? Remember the Bible said, and he went to his hometown. He could not perform miracle because their faith was not there. That's why he said that a prophet is not, is not honored in his hometown. He's not recognized. So most of us don't belong to where we claim to come from. Just as I said, can any good thing come from Nazareth? Can you imagine that? Can any good thing come from Nazareth? Can any good thing come out of you? Say, God forbid. 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 Jump on your Say, God forbid. Say, good thing will come out of me. I am good. Good thing will come out of me. Claim it. Go ahead and claim it. Claim it. Good thing will come out of me. I am good, therefore good thing will come out of me. The good God is in me. Jump on your feet. I didn't say sit down. Jump on your feet and claim that. Jump on your feet and claim it. Say, I am good. Good thing will come out of me. Good thing will come out of me. I will leave inheritance of my children. My generation will never suffer. My generation will not go through what I've gone through. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. With these affirmations, I tell you, your life will never be the same again. May you be seated in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. A good man living in inheritance for his children. And children, children. Eh? Praise the Lord. Go ahead and read for me Psalm 84. Psalm 84 verse 11. Read it, I think, from 11 down to 12 or 13. Psalm 84 verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will mm -hmm. give grace and glory. No good thing mm -hmm. will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Yes. Oh. No good thing will be with the hope from those who walk what? Uprightly. For the Lord God is good. No good thing will be with hope from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. No good thing. For the Lord God is a son and a shield. Eh? He said because wealth are riches in your house. Wealth are riches in your house. You serve a great God. You have, you have made yourself to be nobody. And God have never created nobody. God created somebody. And you are the somebody God created. Can I hear you say, I am the somebody God created? God never created nobody. He created somebody. But the demon make you to change your confession and become somebody. I mean, nobody. Praise the Lord. It is well with me. Say it is well with you. Say it is well with you. Can we look at Genesis 26, 13 in closing? Genesis 26, verse 13. Genesis 26, verse 13. The men mm. began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous, for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of heads and a great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. Do you hear that? Who is the man they are talking about? Isaac. Say it's me. Say it's me. 
He was so wealthy. Take it again, take it again. Read it so that all of us will understand. Read it again. Then Isaac sought in read, that land. Read. No, no, read, read verse, 20, verse 12. Read 12. Read 12, then you go to that 13. Please. Then Isaac sought in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. The men began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous, for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of heads and a great number of servants. Thank you. He prospered. So from this moment, you are going to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I have changed my position for prosperity. I have changed my position for health. I have changed my position for longevity. I have changed my position for greatness in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People of God, it is well with you. It is well with your family. Those your children that does not listen to you, that your wife that does not listen to you, that your husband that have not, that have not been listening to you, that your parents that have been listening to you, those your staffs, colleagues that have not been listening to that, they will listen to you. Because your language have changed. Say, my language have changed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And finally, remember what the word of God declared in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. He said, but thou shalt remember the, Lord, the name of the Lord thy God for any seed that giveth you what? Power to get wealth. Power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant, which he is swore unto thy father as it is this day. I close by there. And with that, praise the Lord. I close there. People of God, my word of encouragement today is for you to change your language. Many of us have limited ourselves. And as a result of that, we continue to go from one pillar to another post, from another post to another pillar. That's not the will of God. The will of God is for you to prosper and be in hell. That's what the word declared. He said, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in hell, even as thy soul prosper. Prosperity is your portion. Can I hear you say prosperity is mine? Success is mine. Long life is mine. Greatness is mine. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People of God. A stroke of a cane is sufficient for the wise. A stroke of a cane is sufficient for the wise. And I know that your level, because you have moved from where they kept you to where God wants you to be, you will never go back to where they want you to be. Say, I will never go back to where they want me to be. I will remain ahead of them. The Bible said in Genesis 1, I will never forget that. And God moved. And God moved. And God moved. And that is why he said in the, in, in the book of Exodus, he said to the children of God, move, go forward, move. Pharaoh was behind them. And Resi was before them. He said, move. Hallelujah. He said, move forward. And as they move, the Resi dry. Every Resi before you is dried in the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing applied to the children of Israel when they went to Sabia, the promised land. They come back with bad report. I don't know the bad report you've had yesterday. Even before you come to church today, I don't know what you have had. Even before you connect today, I don't know what you've had. But one thing is sure. My God, whom you serve, in whose presence we are today, we are sitting today, we never let us go back to what the enemy wants us to be. In the name of Jesus Christ. He will never do that. Hallelujah. So today, I want you to captain the message like this. I hold on to the word of the prophet. Say, I hold on to the word of the prophet. Just put it like the title of the message. I hold on to the word of the prophet. 
the word of the prophets is the word of God. We say to you, you shall be above only the wealth and riches shall be in your house. That a good man liveth a great inheritance for his children and children, children. No. I hold on to the word of the prophet. If the prophet said to you, you will succeed, you will not die, you will live. Hold on to it. And that's what I said to you today. Do not go back to negative confessions. Do not go back to those things you've been saying to yourself. I know I'm finished. You are not finished. Because you don't know. Praise the Lord. Why you are standing there, turn around and go to number five. Turn around only once. Turn around. Turn around. I said today is a spiritual manifestation we're going to do. Yes. Now look at that number five of proclamation. What does it say? I decree and declare that people will hear my testimony and glorify the name of my God. The name of God in my life, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear you say that? I decree and declare that people will hear my testimony and glorify the name of God in my life, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Say down. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a noise. Say hallelujah. Shout it like a thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, something has happened. The wall of Jericho has fallen down. Amen. The sons of anarchy has been destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This year, seven hallelujah. In your village, they had it. In Amen. the sea, they had it. Amen. On the mountain, they had it. Amen. Beneath the sea, they had it. Amen. In the grave, they had it. Amen. Everywhere they've heard about your hallelujah. Amen. And you are coming with that testimony in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. People of God, congratulations. 